What is everybody? I'm Mordecai, founder and CEO of Ecomant, and on this video, I'm going to show you the brand new updated Chrome extension of Ecomant, and we we'll learn how to use it, and we we'll show you how to take advantage of this uh, free and amazing feature. Here we are on a random Shopify store. The extension is connected. Everything is connected, and now let's refresh the page. Uh, it's a store in Spanish, I don't want translation. And click the Ecom Ant extension icon. And what you see here is basically all the new products of this store. You can load more, you can see all of the products. Then you can click on the best sellers. It will take you to the best seller, uh, uh, best selling page where you can see all the best selling products of this uh, store, specific store. And what else you can do is if you open the extension, obviously you can see the apps that this store is, is using, which app they're using. Up here, you can see the full link of the Shopify store, the original link. You can see the Facebook page of this Shopify store. It will take you directly to the Facebook page. You can see the similar web of this page. Let's click on it. Similar web is basically a website that will give you uh, the amount of traffic that this store has, uh, which countries and everything related to this store. Um, the reason when you don't see information like this specific store is because it's probably a new store that doesn't have any much traffic yet. So if they su manage to, to, to succeed and this store will turn profitable and successful, in one month you will be able to see information about this store on similar web. Now let's come back to the store and I want to show you a few more cool features that you can do on the Shopify stores. Click on the extension, here you will see the theme that the store they're using. So if you see a store with a cool theme and you don't know what they're using, you can open the extension and see the name of their theme and find it on Google. Then you have this button right here. This is the Facebook ads of this store. So for every store out there, if they're running Facebook ads, you will be able to one click the extension and see those ads. So for example, for this store, we click the Facebook ads tab and then we have this uh, see all ads button we click on it and it will take us directly to the uh, facebook ads library and here we can see the ads that this store is running let's try a new store so for example if we take this store let's refresh the page and again click the chrome extension we see all the products we see the name we have the link of the facebook we have the similar web we have the name of this uh, theme then we have the best sellers we have the apps and we have the Facebook ads. So if we click Facebook ads, we have this uh, see all ads button. If we click on it, it will take us directly to the Facebook ads library of this page. And then we can see all the Facebook ads. This is an amazing tool that helps me to save a lot of time when I'm searching and I want to see which ads a specific store is running. That's it about the Shopify part. Let's jump to the Facebook ads part of this extension. So if we refresh the Facebook page and once the page is loaded, we can click again on the extension and you will see that the extension is changing. So basically, from site to site, the Chrome extension will change based on the features that it can do on the specific page that you are watching. So if now we are on Facebook, you can see that we have two options. We have one option to show only sponsored posts and we have an option to see only viral posts. Now let's click on the show only sponsored posts. Toggle, we click on it, you will see that the Facebook page is refreshing and now we see only Facebook ads. You see sponsored, this is our ad. If you don't have access to the course yet and you want to learn all about dropshipping and how to do stuff, make sure to get inside the course. It costs only $100, it's really cheap and we have over 70 videos and bonuses and basically covering everything about dropshipping and how to run a profitable online store. So make sure you check this out. Let's keep scrolling. You see sponsored tabula, you see scrapbook sponsored, sponsored. So basically you can see here that we see only sponsored ads. Now let's click on this again and change to the show only viral posts. It refreshes the page and now it's searching for ads that are going viral, not any ad. The other target will show you all of the ads. This one will show you only viral ads. So for example, this ad has 7.1 thousand comments, 7.2 thousand shares, 83 thousand uh, reaction on uh, this, uh, this uh, specific ad. So obviously it's a viral ad. 
If I scroll down, you will see another viral ad. This is going viral as well. If I scroll down, it will keep searching for only viral ads. This is very useful. So you don't need to scroll for hours your Facebook feed to find stuff. You can simply um, use the Chrome extension. Let's save this video. It's really cool. I want to save it. Yeah, cool. It's done. So as you can see here, it's really, really, really cool. Now, the last and final feature that I want to show you is on AliExpress. So let's jump to the AliExpress website. I'm refreshing the page. You will see that on AliExpress, you will have this track now button on every single product you see. And what it does basically is if I click track now, it will add this product to the tracker feature that we have on e-command. And you will be able to see um, the growth, you will be able to see the sales and basically to see uh, a graph of what's happening with this product on your tracker. So I click this, I'm already tracking this product. Let's go to the tracker view. It will ask me to connect, I'm already connected. And this is a product I just added to the tracker. You see that it doesn't have any information yet because we are tracking. So if you come back in 24 hours, we'll start seeing uh, results. But as you can see here, I'm already tracking a lot of products. Let's, for example, open this one. You can see here the sales. So it will show you the daily sales of this product. You can see the growth. So you can see that it's really going good, this product. You can see here on your left, uh, sales today, sales yesterday. You can see the sales in the seven last, uh, the past week. You can see the 30 days. You can see how many people added to their wish in the last 30 days, which is also a really important parameter. And you can see here the growth of this product in the last seven days. So you can see a crazy growth on this product, this one as well, this one as well. So this product are doing good. Um, I move to the next page. You can see here a lot of more products that are doing really good. For example, this one that I was started tracking, um, I think uh, about two weeks ago. And you see that this product has also an amazing uh, amount of sales every day. See, 70, 70, 90. It's kind of a stable sales. If you go to the growth, so you can see that the growth that we have a linear graph that is doing really good as well. Here you can see the price and obviously you can click on this tiny icon here to go directly to the product page on AliExpress. This is it for the Chrome extension. If you have more questions about the extension, feel free to contact us on the support. If you, know, you want to learn more about the tracker and how to use it and how to take advantage of it, make sure to click on this banner right here. When you're on AliExpress, you click the extension and you have this banner here. And there, there is a video about me explaining exactly how to use the tracker and how to take uh, advantage of this amazing feature. Other than that, this is it for the Chrome extension. We'll be launching new features anytime soon. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye bye guys.